It's the weekend party binge on Enid Buzz. I'm Frank Baker, my co-host April Danahay, and a cast of thousands, Jake Crumley from the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center, and godlike photographers, Wes Gray, Mike Clemmy. We're here for the Frozen in Time and the History of Cocktails event coming up this Friday, April 7th at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. Another weekend events, first April, Jake and I are gonna go like test some of the history of cocktails. Okay. We'll let you talk to Wes and Mike about their fabulous photos. All right, and so I groove. <laughs> All right, so I have Wes Gray, <laughs> Mike Clemmy, and so Security National Bank, first of all, is very pleased to be sponsoring this exhibit at the Heritage Center, which is one of our things we like to do is support the arts. And I have to say, when I walked in and saw some of the art, you can certainly tell the different kinds of photographers that there are. I mean, if somebody can take a picture but it isn't necessarily art every time. That's from my iPhone talking. But so, but you both are different types of photographers. Mm -hmm. You have like a landscape and you have people mm -hmm. who can also be landscapes. So <laughs> tell me just a little bit before, we just have a little bit of time. Um, tell me how you got started in photography real briefly. Go with you, go. Okay, uh, 15 years old, uh, my cousin who I just admired had a camera and I thought, I need to do this. He just. He was always ahead of everything, and I thought, I'll do this. Uh, I saved up $12 to buy a camera, went to Evans. They didn't have 35 millimeter, went to Cliff's. Cliff picked out a camera system for me, $36. I told him I couldn't do it, I only had $12. Mm -hmm. He said, you're working at the men's store? I said, yep. And he said, could you pay me two bucks a month for the next year? I said, I can do that. He said, great, he sacked it all up, and I'm walking out the door, and he goes, whoa, stop, stop, what's your name? What's your, what's your address? Do your parents have a phone? I mean, you know, it's, credit later. It started there. Yeah. Okay, Mike, how about you? Uh, when I moved home from Stillwater College, uh, mm -hmm. I figured out I needed a hobby. Oh. And I was working at the News and Eagle selling ads. Mm -hmm. uh, so I bought a camera or mail order from China <laughs> and uh, used that as uh, in my ad sales. Mm -hmm. I figured out that when people ran ads, they bought bigger ads. Oh, okay. With with the pictures in them. Now, some of the pictures that are here, obviously, they feature Wes and Mike's uh, photography and their work, their art. But one of the artists that are pictured here, portrayed here, is Dick McConkie. Mm -hmm. And he did like all of Enid High School's pictures. So if you ever went to Enid High, he probably took your picture, but he also took some great pictures of historic Enid. And so he's also included in this exhibit, but how did you pick the, the pictures you added, the art you added to this exhibit? How did you decide? Because you have tons, you have tons. Uh, the museum came through and picked the, okay, the so ones off our icon wall. So, okay. uh, so we are clean. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Hmm, that makes me have to ask a question here. No, but if you want to come and see great art, and it's art, it's it's about Enid, it's always about Oklahoma, it's about the people you know, it's people you're friends with, people who live here, then come and see this Frozen in Time exhibit at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center running through the end of April. And with two of our artists, thanks so much for doing me. You're welcome. Thank come you. see us. All right. Exit. There you go. So now we're going this way. There. Everybody exit stage left. Stage okay, left. We're All going right. this way. Now we have Jake, come on in. Executive Director here at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center, and it's our History of Cocktails, which is going to occur along with Frozen in Time Friday night. That's right. And we have Jeff Molnar, the leading mixologist in Enid, who's coming right. up with a buttload of killer cocktails for the event. Absolutely. Advantage. Absolutely. So yeah, um, April 7th, the same night as the opening of this exhibit, we are doing, it's called Liquid History. It's a walking tour about the history of cocktails. So you'll go from different uh, uh, building to building out in our historic village, and there will be a couple of different uh, cocktails from different periods of time that you can choose from, that you can sample. Um, it's gonna be really fun. So you'll be, get to learn a little bit about the time period, learn a little bit about the cocktail itself. Um, tickets for that are $40 a piece, and you can find ticketing information at csrhc.org to get your tickets. And you're not gonna want to uh, wait on that because I'm pretty sure we're gonna sell out. In fact, we've already sold out for a couple of different time slots. So be sure to do that quick. 
Otherwise, you might miss out. Yeah. And a big thank you to our History of Cocktail sponsors, Enid Buzz, uh, Jimmy Nicholas with Nicholas Residential Real Estate, and Enid Hubbub. We really appreciate that. Just Absolutely. We appreciate April and Security for sponsoring Frozen in Time with right. Wes and Mike. Thank you, big man. Appreciate Absolutely. it. A couple other things to talk about. Right. The NOC Planetarium Easter Show, a lunchtime at an NOC. It's a film of a walk along the Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem. That's kind of classy. That is very classy. Now, it's free to you, but they would like a donation for our daily bread. So, yeah, that could be food or it could be a cash donation. You choose. Go see. It'll be fun. It will be. Fashion First Friday, of course. It's the first First Friday in downtown Enid. I think this is great because along with all the fun of going in all the different shops, they're highlighting the shop portion because there's a great array of super stores and they'll be doing a fashion show at 6.30 on the Courthouse Lawn because there's a lot of special boutiques in downtown Enid. You know what, I shop a lot of them and I have a few of my favorites. This came from one of our downtown boutiques and so it's, it's really fun. You can order it online, but it's better to buy it here because they know you and it stays right here in Enid. Yeah, very much so. Eggapalooza, and this is gonna be fun. Oh Saturday, Crossland Park, tons of games, ring toss, sack races, egg race, face painting, hand to God. I saw a lawn darts mentioned. What the hell are they thinking out there? I'm sure they're safe lawn darts, so I, I'm not going to freak. It'll be yeah. fun. That'll be Saturday afternoon at Crossland Park. One to four. Okay. Weekend party bin. She's April Dana. Hey, I'm Frank Baker. Enid Buzz, happy to keep you posted on all the great stuff happening in our beloved community. Thanks.